Bonnie Tyler has said fellow Welsh musician John Cale apologised to her in person after he mistook her for somebody else on the party scene in his 1999 book, which resulted in a court battle. Bonnie Tyler has reflected on her court case battle against John Cale after he mistook her for a party girl before writing about it in his 1999 book. In John's co-written novel with Victor Bacris, the musician, 81, claimed he found a group of women in his apartment which, he wrongly believed, included Bonnie. He reportedly wrote, Tempers flared and I threw them all out except one who simply would not go but returned to kick in the door. John alleged the woman was from a band called Bunny, who he believed was the singer. Little is known about the years-old court case, but Bunny, 72, has now insisted all is well with the pair after he reached out to apologize. Whoever it was must be looked like me or whatever, but anyway I had to clear my name, she exclusively told Express so that went to court and I won it of course, because I had never met him, and then I gave the money to charity. Bonnie said to this day she still has no idea who the party girl woman was in question, but said things were now settled after the court outcome and his apology. Express has contacted a representative for John for comment. The musician dives into more details about the identity mistake in her long-awaited autobiography Straight from the Heart released last month. She also reflects on her highly publicized song Battle with the late singer Meatloaf. The latter is said to have fallen out with their mutual songwriter Jim Steinman after he gave Bonnie Total Eclipse of the Heart, instead of him. The 40-year-old hit ended up becoming Bonnie's most successful single to date, selling an estimated 6 million copies worldwide. Reflecting on their light-hearted feud, she spilled. Meatloaf was a bit p asterisk 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 d off about it. He was fine. He used to say, Bonnie that song should have been for me.